Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and back to our Java quiz. One another question that I ask that what is the output of the following Java code? I have given one byte b is equal to 0, 6, 5 and I'm asking what is the value of b plus 20. And these are the four options 85, 73, u, like capital U, or compile time error or invalid number. I'm really surprised that people are not having their basics clear. 58% people, they have given this absolutely wrong answer. So the right answer is 73. So if you can calculate 58 plus 11 plus 15, and again, 16% is the right answer. I'm not sure that okay, maybe people, they have compiled it and then they have executed it. Maybe they have given the 73 here, but still, if you see the wrong percentage out of 878 votes is still this like going on six hours back only i published that basics are not at all clear this is slightly disappointing guys please improve your basics these kind of questions everyone should know about it these are the concepts in java with respect to numbers data type you should know how exactly these things works so let's see if you notice this thing that byte b equal to 065, so this number which is starting with 0 actually, right? So a number which is starting with 0 is considered as an octal number, okay? So the right answer will be 73. I'll tell you why 73 it is coming. So octal number and this octal number, each and every digit should be between 0 to 7, remember? So it means I cannot write here that uh, 8 here. Why? Because each and every digit between 0 to 7 only. So the 8 is not between 0 to 7. So this is not an octal number. This will give you the compile time error here. Right. So that's why I'm writing, see, I'm writing 0, 6, 5. So I can write, let's see, 75. I can write 77 here. That's not an issue. But I cannot write greater than 7. So question is 0, 6, 5. And what will be the output of this? And we know that, okay, the octal number base is what? The octal number base is eight here but whenever java is considering any number java will always consider in fact any programming language will always consider the number with the decimal number so what we have to do we have to convert this octal to the decimal number internally simple basic formula we have to understand we used to do this thing in our uh, school time in maths in mathematics in math subject the octal number base is eight so what exactly i'm going to write that let's say i'm writing zero and 6, 5, we have to convert this octal number to a decimal number. So what I'll do, I'll start with 5 here, right? The rightmost digit that is having, well, let's see, this is 5. And then I multiply this 5 with 8 to the power 0, right? So I'll start with 8 power 0. Then I'll do one thing again, keep adding here. Then I'm saying that 6 and I'll increase the power of 8 now. And then 8 power 1. Okay, then again plus, then what is the last one? The zeroth digit, again multiply by 8 square here. So if you uh, see this calculation, what is the output of this calculation? The output of this calculation is that 8 square multiplied by 0 will be 0. Then plus 8 power 1 is equal to 8 only, 8 multiplied by 6 is equal to 48 here. So 48 and then I'm writing 8 to the power 0. So any number which is having power 0, which is equal to 1. So 5 multiplied by 1 is equal to 5 here. So 48 plus 5 is equal to 53. Okay. 53 will be the decimal number of this octal number. And when I add 53 plus 20, so output will be 73 here. Okay. So let's run it. And let's see that output will be 73 here. Simple. You can check the exactly same formula in some um, online calculator also, which will convert my octal number to decimal number. You can see that octal to decimal number. You can check it here. Let's go to this particular converter. And the, let's see, I'm writing some octal number, which is 065, and then convert that. And you can see the decimal number, the base 2, which is coming here. And how exactly it is getting calculated. You can see exactly same thing. 0, 8 square, 6, 8 power 1, 5. 8 power 0 is equal to 53 here, right? So for example, if I ask you that, okay, what is the, um, here I'm writing, let's see, 77. For 77, what will be the output? Let's see, here I'm converting this. So my calculator is giving me the decimal 63 here. Same thing if I'm writing uh, 077 here, and then I'm running it. So in that case, it should also give me 
here, which is 83 here. And 63 plus 20, it is taking 83 here, right? So 63 plus 20, 83 here will be the output here. Perfect. But there are a couple of things that you have to understand that what if it's only three digits allowed and what if I have more than uh, three digits? So for example, let's see if I'm writing byte C is equal to zero, uh, seven, six, five, four. Can I store this? So it's giving me the no, error here. Because if you consider this is also an octal number, but the equivalent decimal of this, what will happen? So let's convert this. It says 4012. So the equivalent decimal value will be 4012. And 4012, I cannot store in the byte. Right? So that's why this is going out of the range for the byte because the byte range will be minus 128 to positive 127. So that's what 4012, I cannot store in the byte. So in that case, what should I do? I can use, let's see, short here. And with the short, it's not giving me any error. And then I'm printing the value of a C. So value of C will be 4012 will be printed here like this. And if you really want to calculate manually 4012, same formula, you can apply it here that for uh, whatever it's there, I can see the formula here. See the formula is also giving me, I'll just copy and then paste it here. Later on, you can try it manually also. See, this is the formula. So it will start from eight power zero from the, rightmost digit is there start with 8 power 0 and keep increasing the power and like this and then when you calculate and add everything 4012 you will be getting it here right so let's see if i'm increasing some number so again i'm writing let's see once again i'm writing let's see byte d which is equal to 0 see the moment i write 9999 it is giving me the error although you store it in the long also this will still give you the error because octal number cannot have every digit cannot have <coughs> uh, greater than seven here right so in that case let's see i'm writing some every digit should be less than seven or between zero to seven only so here i'm writing let's see starting with zero some long number let's see i'm writing it here like this let's see up to six we can write it here and we can check it in the this converter first of all let's see what exactly it is giving to me here so here the equivalent decimal number is this something like this this is the calculation it will do and let's see are we really getting the same thing or not so here i'm writing system dot pen talent d here see i cannot store this value because the equivalent decimal value of this octal number is such a long value so i have to store in the long only not even byte and short because it's going out of range for the short also so if i store it let's see in the short it's going out of range if I was storing with the help of integer, an integer also, yeah, it is taking within the range of integer. So I can store in integer or in long also, I can use it here. So let's run it and let's see, is it really giving me the right uh, decimal number? Yes, this is the right decimal number. I'm getting it here. But the moment any number I'm making it greater than seven, let's say I'm making it eight here, it will start giving me the error. This is not the right octal number here. Okay, so this will immediately give you the compiler error here. So I hope this question is clear. 077 or earlier that the original question was 65. 65 equivalent number will be 53 that we have already calculated. 53 plus 20, which is equal to 73 is the right answer for this question. So 73 will be the right answer. Okay. I hope this is clear. Please be careful whenever you are writing and any number which is starting with zero, that will always be a, an octal number here. Thank you so much, guys.